charge of discharge of rhyme. Greedy comics, toys are hella sick, hell whacking it. Take a bad hit, take a bad hit, start a mess. Uh, subscribe machine for domains. Oh, lately, man, I've been, I've been needing a lot of. What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends figure review on not a Marvel Legend, but the Star Wars 6 inch black series episode 7, The Force Awakens Guavian. Thanks so much to Alfonso for sending this over. This is an awesome birthday gift man, I really appreciate it, thank you so much. And this looks like a very very cool figure, I cannot wait to open it. Cool image of the Guavian right over there, now on the side it says Guavian coming up this way, and then on the back there's a read up on him, if you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now, you can see he's number 8, part of wave 2, and then it says 8 right over there again. All Alright, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Guavian Enforcer out of the packaging, and what a cool figure. I don't really know much about it, but I think this looks really awesome. So if you read the back of the packaging, it says that he's a Guavian Enforcer and he's the security or one of the security soldiers of the Guavian gang. And it may not even be a he, by the way. It could be another female character for all we really know. So, uh, so this is a security soldier for the Guavian gang. So not really part of the Guavian gang? Or Part of the Guavian gang? I don't know. And why is it Guavian? It reminds me of fruit, right? But anyway, the figure has great articulation. You get some really cool accessories over here. So let's take a closer look at those. So the figure comes with two weapons. You get this gun right over here. I don't know what to call it, but it's sculpted out pretty nicely. A lot of little details in here. And I really love the choice of having a solid gray plastic with silver dry brushing over it. I just think that looks great. I really dig that a lot. And then here's looking at the second one, which I like a little bit more. I like that silver dry brushing so much. Oh, that looks really cool. So anyway, he has only one trigger hand right here. What I mean by trigger hand, you can see the trigger finger. This hand does not have that sticking out. So holding these guns is pretty easy for this side. And you can see that you just slip the finger right in that little space right there. So that works out okay. And then with this one over here, that works out pretty well too. You just have to shimmy it out in there. And there that goes. So a little tricky getting the finger through the trigger right there. But that looks pretty good. And then getting him to hold the gun on this side, you know, you can do it. But it's just a little bit tricky. And it's a little unfortunate that they did not give him a trigger finger on this side. Because he comes with two guns, but no storage for either of them. So looking at this helmet sculpt or head sculpt just looks amazing. It may actually be an android now that I'm thinking about it. You know, because you see all these wires and stuff in there. You get some nice silver dry brushing over the black plastic, even some silver over the red over there. This helmet just looks so cool to me because it has all these little nicks in it too. Man, ah, I'm really digging it a lot. Just look at that, really nice texture to it. And looking on the back right over there, you can see the nicks continue on the black section of it. And on the back you get all these lines sculpted right there. This just looks really, really dope. I'm just really stoked about this, and I don't know much about the character at all. Uh, one thing that does bother me, though, about this figure is that there is some weird white stuff on it. It's kind of like dried up super glue or something. You could see some of it right over here, right there, and not so much on the other side. But yeah, it looks like there's like extra glue. And there was some on his shoulder pad over here, and I just wiped that off, so I did notice that. And looking at the torso, oh my goodness, man, that is incredible. I love all these wrinkles in here. You get this awesome black wash. A lot of etched out little details in there. That looks fantastic. Some nice clean red paint right over here on the black part right there, too. This is made to have a little bit more of a softer material, so it doesn't really, you know, limit the articulation, I think. You just can't get his arms all the way up, you know, so you can see it start to bend right there, so... I take it back, it does limit the articulation a little bit, sorry. But anyway, you get some nice sculpted detail right over here again. Just every inch of this thing has some really cool stuff going on. Really cool hands. And I'm really liking all these pouches over here. Even though it does get in the way, so it makes it hard for him to do an ab crunch. That's a little bit annoying. But the paint came out really clean. Some nice texture right over here on all these pouches. These gloves look great. Just really good looking figure, just all these little parts and everything, all the straps and stuff. Even some details on the butt, they detailed out the butt. Great job you guys. But yeah, this jacket uh, just looks really, really cool to me. I'm just totally feeling this thing. It's just a really good looking figure. I think the gray paint came out really clean. Wow. I like this knee pad, and you get this little wire right here connected to this thing. That doesn't break or feel like it's going to come apart or anything. They left enough give right there so that you can flex that, so I think that's really good. Some nice texturing right there on the knee pad. This rib texture right here on the calves and boots, so I'm really digging it. And he does have pickles at the bottom of his feet and some treads right there on the outside of the boot. So for articulation, you can move the head up very far. That looks fantastic, and you can get him moving downward. You get side-to-side -side movement over here, and it does have neck 
pivot. Shoulders move outward, you can move them forward only that much, and you can rotate at the elbow and swivel at the elbow. Really wish we got double joint. I also appreciate that the paint wash is still there in that joint. Then you also get a wrist swivel over here, and on the left side it hinges up and down. On the right side over here you get a hinge that moves like rolling dice. You get a diaphragm joint that rotates side to side. Uh, not much pivot over there and barely any crunching. So it can move back just that much and it can move forward only that much. So not a whole lot of crunching. I guess that's the most disappointing part articulation wise. And the hips move outward that much. You can get them kicking forward only that far. It doesn't really move back. You get an upper thigh swivel. You get double jointed knees. You also get ankles that move down, up, and it does have ankle pivot. So this is a six inch scale figure in the Guavian Enforcer standing just a little over six inches tall. Then here's a figure compared to some other six inch Force Awakens Black Series figures. We have Finn, Kylo Ren, and then the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Stormtrooper. I still need to get the retail version. So if anyone has any of those for sale, let me know. And for some reason, I feel like in the movie, we're going to see these two fighting. I don't know. I can imagine an army of these Guavian enforcers fighting an army of stormtroopers. That'd be awesome. Ooh, also need a Captain Phasma. Yeah, if anyone has a Captain Phasma. Ooh, also need an Amazing Fantasy number 15. And then here he is next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider-Man. Okay, I know everybody says not to touch the red button, but it's just right there. I want to hit the red button. I'm going to do it. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. So again, this is a fantastic figure. I am very, very excited to see how this character plays out in the movie. Other Guavian enforcers may not have this same look over here, so I'm very curious to see what happens. And just a fantastic piece, man. The paint and the sculpt on this are just amazing. Bummed out about a couple of points of articulation. I feel like the ankles are a little on the weak side. But aside from that, I highly recommend the figure, and I totally suggest you pick it up if you see one. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here. If you want more shart in your face, if you want to contribute to the channel, check out the Patreon account. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to JediInsider.com for a photo gallery of images and the latest in Star Wars news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Here we go. Have you seen with it? Thank you.